this off by just kind of uh, detailing a little bit about your BJJ journey. Like in my research, I read that you started in maybe 2008, uh, Black Belt 2018. Is that right? It sounds right. Sounds right. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we're in 2021 now. So, you know, with, you know, I mean, to as much as you're comfortable, I'd love to learn about like what attracted you to BJJ, your academy, and man, that journey, you know, that's a, that's a big journey. Yeah. So I, you know, I played all sorts of sports growing up um, and in high school and then in college um, settled on volleyball. So I played that for um, uh, probably 10 years uh, mm-hmm. or so. Um, but post-college, it was uh, increasingly difficult to um, play, you know, my college teammates sort of scatter after they graduate. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's not as easy as just joining like a men's basketball rec league in your town or, you know, right. competitive volleyball, you, you have to, um, you have to travel around to different tournaments, not unlike jujitsu. Mm-hmm. Um, but imagine if for every jujitsu tournament, you had to find six other guys, specifically a setter of mm-hmm. two middle hitters, you know, everybody's all the pieces have to fit. Mm-hmm. somebody flakes out so it was it was getting difficult and there was one year uh, I think 2007 um where I only played one tournament the entire year wow. and then I was like all right you know what like I can't I need something more I know mm-hmm. I wanted to do more than just you know I would still go to the gym and stuff to stay active but mm-hmm. I needed a sport sort of mm-hmm. in my life and um I had become a UFC fan like most guys sure. um, of a certain age did around there uh, around that time especially when the WEC was on the versus network and you could watch mm. and, you know Uriah Faber was all doing day. all this crazy stuff all mm. these little guys the 125 yeah. 135 145 who didn't have a home in the UFC yeah. um, they were doing crazy things so you know I remember telling myself like I want to get fit like them but i don't want to get punched in the face i get it (laughs) so you know i don't want to climb into the cage but i want that sort of workout i want to be part of like a team so um i sort of just stumbled upon jujitsu and um the idea of having a team Mm -hmm. uh, and teammates and stuff Mm -hmm. and you representing a school Um, but when it came to competing, I didn't necessarily need anyone to be with me. I didn't even need a coach to be with me. All I needed was myself and I could just sign on the dotted line, Mm. uh, and compete. So it left behind the the volleyball baggage of needing all those other people. Mm -hmm. Um, so it it sounded perfect to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, you know, at the time I, there weren't a lot of jujitsu options, uh, around me in Connecticut. So I just picked out of a hat there are two schools Mm. sort of 20 to 30 minutes in either direction and I just picked one Mm. uh and it was called ultimate MMA and I went up there and at the time like most jiu-jitsu schools it was in like a garage not like a not someone's house garage but like you know a warehouse garage type place no air conditioning um you know one big sort of blue mat area and then another area uh, actually on the other side of the wall. So, um, and it, it, this was August of 2008. So it was scorching. Mm. Oh, uh, I mean, it was so uncomfortable to even walk in there. And I was like, this is perfect. Yeah. This is what I want. I yeah. want to suffer in these walls. Sure. I want to get rid of all this weight. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm and, and you're learning, you know, self-defense and, right. and it's learning a new sport. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like learning a new language. Yeah. So it sounded cool to me. And Mm -hmm. I signed up right there in the spot Mm. Um, and then off I went and, um, you know, uh, pandemic aside, I, Mm -hmm. I didn't miss more than a week or two of training over the next um, 10, uh, 11 years or so. I I wasn't like a seven day a week guy or a five Mm -hmm. day a week guy. I was like Mm -hmm. a two day a week guy. Yeah. Uh, But I never, I just never stopped going. And, yeah. you know, I was the, the cliche white belt who never quit. Like I was wow. nothing special. I did try to compete as much as I could. Mm-hmm. I wasn't particularly, I wasn't overly successful. Mm-hmm. I was pretty average when mm-hmm. I, you know, I won some tournaments. Mm-hmm. I lost a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, 
so that was my journey. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there was a couple school changes in there because mm -hmm. I moved, uh, you know, throughout the States, sure. switched jobs and, and things yeah. like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think it was 2018, maybe. Yeah, 2018, because this will be my third year of being a black belt. So I'll get my first wow. degree in October. Man. Um, and that's also the good thing about black belt, even though I haven't trained for like almost a You're year. You're there. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah. time. Yeah. And so I'll get that. I'll get that um, first degree in October. So, um, yeah, so I, ended, I, get, I got my black belt under Luigi Mondelli and mm. American top team in Connecticut. Cool. And, um, yeah, so, you know, I was never like an instructor. I, I sort of guest taught a few classes when, mm -hmm. you know, my instructor couldn't be there, but sure. you know, I was nothing special. I was just, mm -hmm. you know, a guy who worked and did jujitsu on the side and, uh, and competed here and there, but mm -hmm. it did, it, it fulfilled that, that competition part. And it was great that I didn't have to sort of depend on anyone else. And, yeah, uh, I mean, competition was, uh, admittedly terrifying, for oh me gosh. but it, it sure. was like a it was something i forced myself to do mm. uh, because i always had this um recurring experience that mm -hmm. i would still have to this day so like when i would leading up to the tournament and especially when i would get to the tournament i'd be terrified i'd be like wishing that it was just over i'd be jealous of the people that were walking out of the tournament mm. when i was walking in um like i hated every second of it yeah. Once I got onto the mat, right. all of that disappeared. Right. I, I've never, I was never like nervous in a match, mm -hmm. uh, you know, cause you just have to focus on what the hell's going on. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then as soon as it was over, win mm -hmm. or lose, I was like, oh my God, I need to do this again. Where, right. when's the next tournament? I want to do it really, right. especially if I lost, I was like, ah, I right, need another right. tournament next week. I need another shot at this. Like I want to do, yes. do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Sign up for the next one. And then all over again. Then I'm like, ah, oh, why did I sign up for this? This sucks. Man. I'm terrified. I'm just going to lose and oh, all this stuff. And then rinse and repeat. And, yes. Uh, you, it's, man, you captured that so perfectly.